the books go color seven let's get out of the box and have a little look at it it comes in two colors and it's the first one to arrive of the go series i'm betting i've got the black although i actually have no idea what i have it's got a seven inch kaleido free we've seen a lot of things with kaleido free at this point 300 pixels per inch in black and white 150 pixels per inch in color it's got dual front lights dual color front lights it's got an octa-core 2.4 gigahertz processor it's the snapdragon 6225 the same one that we see in the note air 3 and note air 3c so it's certainly powerful enough to run this thing and it's got four gigabytes of ram and it's got 64 gigabytes of storage it's only got touch so it doesn't have the sort of pen that we often see on books tablets the wacom emr stylus but at this size you can't get a tablet with a wacom emr stylus so which color have they sent me let's find out would you go for the white or would you go for the black i mean most of the tablets i have are sort of darker colors so it'll fit in better to be black but i think i just feel like the sort of white tablet that kind of look with this new go series i feel like that's a bit more appropriate so let's have a look so yeah, good specs it's got mic it's got a speaker it has a micro sd card support it's got a 2300 milliamp hours and a water repellent design so it isn't waterproof but it's water repellent in its design yeah black <laughs> And I just want to say a big thank you to Books for sending this out for review. It's really great to continue working with you. It's another exciting launch. And you get the usual niceties, a cable and a SD card opening tool in there as well. The back is kind of a plasticky feeling. I was hoping for it to feel more a bit like the kind of faux leather, but it's certainly nice. It's a kind of textured plastic though. It's just straight out of a mold. Feels nice and it is nice and slim though. Power buttons down here. The case, really nicely designed. It's quite a heavy case actually, interestingly. does magnetically seat into the case just there. I'm gonna get this all set up and it will need to do a firmware update and then I'll be back. How about a live stream uh, Thursday night as usual? I prefer the navigation bar. That's the one I'm used to. And I don't use the side gestures either. I can tell straight away this is a really snappy device. Screen looks good. It's got a really quality feel to it. I mean, this is the newer version of Old Money Books Leaf. This is the Leaf 2. It looks pretty much the same size. I mean, you'd be forgiven for thinking, yeah, they were exactly the same device. But the Leaf didn't have magnets to let it snap in. If it's in one way around in that case. I'm wondering, is this the best small e-reader that you can buy right now? I think I might do a big comparison on that because if you want a small e-reader that can do all of the Android things as well, this must be one of the best options you can get. So yeah, let me know what you think is the best small e-reader that you can buy right now. Do you think this is going straight in there? And are you getting one yourself? And what color are you going to go for? And importantly, let me know any questions you have for when I do go ahead and go live and talk about this, the new Books Go 7 color. $250 basically, so it's not your world's cheapest e-reader, but it might be one of the best you can buy right now. And one of the first things that I do is that I sit down with it. Once I've got it all set up and updated, I sit down and I make a full long form members only testing video. So if you're interested in that, in my first sort of get into grips with the device and my first conclusions, then have a little look at what's on offer via the join button just next to the subscribe button and the like button <laughs> underneath the video. Cheers. Yeah.